not that I need reminders. I live it every day, like, like, literally every minute. Wow, this is really dirty. Christine just dragged all these up from the basement. She's trying to. What we have learned is that almost always there are warning signs in advance. And it appears that this is no different, that there were warning signs in online platforms and in conversations with, with contemporaries uh, that something, something was wrong, something was amiss, and there was potentially something very bad about to happen. And that's the moment. That's the, that's the opportunity to intervene and, and to, to help and to connect that individual to help before it becomes a tragedy. And that is the, the basic core of what we do at Sandy Hook Promise. And we know that it works. We know there are warning signs. And, if, and, and when we train students how to recognize those warning signs and take those next steps to connect that individual to help, we have prevented many school shootings that way. We have intervened on countless suicides that way. So it's, it's just, um, it's so frustrating that we know we have these measures. Symbolism here, it's hard to even think about or say, but it's, it's um, 20 little hands and six adult hands. Last night, my wife and I were just kind of quietly contemplating this, and she turned to me and said, this is their Friday night. And I knew exactly what she meant. They are in the same place, they were in the same place last night that we were on Friday night, December 14th, 2012 trying to wrap our heads around this. And, um, you know, for the victims' families and for their extended families and for the members of that community and for all of us, really, it's just a, it's just a horrible, horrible tragedy. We're still learning about um, the details and the path to violence, as we say, um, in the field of school safety. But um, already it appears that there were numerous opportunities, numerous red flags with this individual, changes in behavior over the last year of, of his life, um, you know, uh, social media postings that, um, that were opportunities to report and then provide intervention um, that that may well have changed um, the entire trajectory and um, and protected the lives of those beautiful children and, and teachers. And All the work that we're doing, that's where we're focusing is um, is on that education and training and really helping everyone in the community to understand that it's, it's the job of all of us. Um, you know, if you see something like that, if you hear something, if you're concerned, um, you have to speak up, you have to, um, you have to share that. My little nuclear family, you know, Josephine's surviving sisters, my husband and myself, just um, knowing what the families are experiencing right now, um, you know, seeing the, um, the images of those reactions, those were our reactions, those were our feelings, um, and it's just the most impossible, those are just the most impossible moments in time, and, um, and so we are we are transported back there to those moments for ourselves um, and more than anything, just aching. Our hearts are, are broken for them and we are um, and just desperate to, um, to support them in any way that we can. Like the Sandy Hook Book Fairy, uh, we put battery packs in her dress uh, to make her $2 wedding gown that we got at Goodwill uh, light up. I would love to see some kind of federal action. I would love to see at minimum a vote, a successful vote, I should say, on universal background checks. Um, we have taken huge strides uh, since the shooting at Sandy Hook. We've made a ton of movement in the states, um, but there has been zero action on the federal level, and that is nauseating to think about. Um, but I hope that, like Sandy Hook did, it will it will drive people to act and to demand action from our, our federal government. I wish it wasn't falling apart. The, the families of those killed, the 
kids that survived, the educators that survived, the community, they are in for a world of hell. Um, what they're going to be facing in the next couple of weeks and I mean I'm a decade in and it's still not over um, find the support um, lean into the community lean into whatever will connect you um, to the people who are around you and who are there it's really hard and it's not going to go away and every single time it happens and it will happen again it brings it all back up um I mean the second the news broke my brain went right back to sitting in the Sandy Hook firehouse and I haven't been able to shake that since <laughs> she's all chalked up